George says, um, hey, Bradley and SM crew, can we republish blog content from our money sites into the drive stacks and cloud stacks or will this cause duplicate content issues? No, it won't. Um, lastly, are you regularly adding content in your cloud stacks and drive stack? Thanks. No, not really. I mean, you not not adding like new pages and posts to that, but I embed my money site all the time. I embed my press release or press advantage organization pages. Um, you can embed RSS feeds. You can do a number of things. I embed, uh, you know, you can embed your syndication network properties. So Tumblr and WordPress and Blogger, if you're syndicating to those, um, whenever you're publishing content from your money site. And so again, I like to embed all of my money assets into those kind of shield properties so that when I'm publishing content on the money sites, they're getting automatically updated with new content. It's not creating new pages, but they're getting new content on the existing structure that is built with the drive stack and the G sites and stuff. Um, and that's typically how I do it. The ID page, all that. We do a lot of embeds, iframe stacking. And so that's dynamically updated content through the iframes, if that makes sense. We build the initial structure with the G site and the drive stack and all that, which kind of mirrors the site structure. It's called theme mirroring. Talking about that for years. Um, so once we have the initial structure in place, then it's mostly run through embeds. Now I did talk about the content mirroring method, which I, we gave away for free from Black Friday to Cyber Monday. Now you can get it in the mastermind, but you can't get it outside of the mastermind. That's, we only gave it away through that three-day window. But the content mirroring method is a, is a very specific and unique technique for using like Google business posts that then you mirror into YouTube videos. And then you mirror that into um, uh, G site like sub pages. So a silo on the G site. And then you can do that with press releases. You can, you can add blogger, another layer of blogger in there and do the same thing. And so that's where you would go in and manually. And I don't recommend anybody here do that except for once and then hire a VA. That's what the SOPs are that I create so that you can plug a VA into it and have them do it for you. Um, still go through it once, but you learn the process and then you hand it off, delegate it so that you don't have to do it. It's time consuming, but it works. So uh, again, the process docs that I'm creating for the mastermind right now for the Google business process, it, it talks about doing the three push silos, which is always required. If again, go through the Google business process checklist, you can get it right at the top of this page. It's free. You'll see what I'm talking about. Push silos. I always do three for every Google business asset. There's one that links the top of silo posts links to uh, the Google business website. Then there's one for the map URL and then one for the location landing page. It's called three push silos. That's a base. And we use that. You can mirror that same structure into Blogger, G sites, press releases, YouTube videos. You can do a YouTube silo out of the same, like mirror those Google business posts, right? 200 to 225 words of text, turn them into videos. Now you've got a YouTube silo. You, then you silo that into a blogger silo. And then you silo that into a uh, G site, right? And then you can do press release silos to promote all that shit. Now you've got all these like structured URLs that you can now put, just hammer with links and embeds. It all flows through eventually to the money site, the Google business website, and the Google map. Boom, there, you've ranked. <laughs> That's part of the process, right? So um, so yeah, I mean, as far as constantly adding new pages and stuff to that structure, I don't like to do that. It's um, very, very time. I mean, if I got a VA doing, it's fine, but it's still very time intensive. So the, the idea is to build the structure, right? And then you have embeds in place so that you can just dynamically update those with content that's being published through Google Business Posts, which you should be doing regularly anyways, RSS feeds and your money site. Those three things right there can update all of your structure that you build. Again, it's all build the structure right one time, and then it will pay off over and over and over again over time by just adding new content through other methods. Press release is one of my favorite methods for content marketing and link building. Press release organization page uh, on Press Advantage has a, an iframe version of it. If anybody has Press Advantage, they have an organization page where there's the forward after pressadvantage.com forward slash there's organization. If you put an I underscore in front of organization after the first forward slash, then it turns it into an iframe version of that page. That's what you iframe into stuff. Then every time you publish a press release, it dynamically updates. And the Press Advantage Organization page is an iframe stack in and of itself. Was that on accident or you think it was on purpose? It was on purpose. <laughs> so uh, a lot of the stuff that we do, again, it's, you know, you can continually add silos and depth to silos or more silos, right? But it's not really necessary. If you have a good solid structure that you can build and then mirror across multiple properties, then you can, again, with iframes inserted in strategic locations, you can update every one of those structures from just publishing from three locations. The ones that I use are the Google business website, blog posts from the money site, and press releases. Those three things right there update the whole structure, right? Very powerful method, and um, it works. It works every time. It has been for years. Um, knock on wood, it'll, it'll continue to work. 